All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Halloween, the 31st of October. And you know what that means. Ooh, getting ready for the holidays here and getting ready for our steel wine dinner. This is 21, 22, I don't know how many years in a row we have been doing this event. Actually, I think it's longer than that. Let's see, the first wine dinner we did with Jed Steele was 1990 when he was working at Kendall Jackson Winery. So yeah, 22 years if you count that. And uh, we immediately jumped on the Steele bandwagon when he started his own label and Jed a legend in California winemaking. He's been making wine longer than I've been alive. I always joke with Jed about that. He started in 1968 at Stony Hill, and this is where well he started to learn about making Chardonnay. And then, of course, he developed Kendall Jackson from a small winery into the mega Goliath that it was, million case brand, the Vintners Reserve Chardonnay. And a famous lawsuit ensued when Jed left because, well, Jess Jackson's a lawyer, and he decided that, you know, how could my superstar winemaker leave me and steal the recipe for making California Chardonnay? Well, it was a legal a lawsuit that set legal precedents, and uh, pretty much they said, well, you can't have a recipe for making Chardonnay that's proprietary, and therefore Jed did not steal his recipe, but, uh, you know, they still found something to name Jed for, but, you know, it wasn't a great thing, but I think it was a good thing in that, you know, Jed started his own label, and, you know, he wanted to get back to making wine. When you get a brand that's a million cases for one product, and I've been to the Vinwood facility where they make Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve, and they bottle it, and it is a huge factory. I mean, more wooden barrels than you've ever seen, and Jed's wines, well, I would say, yeah, all of them together are just you know, 25,000 cases maybe is what he does at his winery. He makes a lot of small production wines, a lot of different varietals, a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, the Blue Franc, uh, which we're going to be showing uh, as our pass-around wine. And you notice there's no notes here, man. I don't need notes for a steel dinner. I have introduced Jed so many times. Uh, you know, we know his wines like the back of my hand. And Jed got to know the vineyards of California like the back of his hand when he was working for Kendall Jackson, buying from, you know, Santa Barbara, uh, from Mendocino, where he decided to set up shop. He bought the old Canoctai Winery, and uh, Lake County is his home now. And it's a little scary up there. I went up to visit Jed, and let me tell you, man, it's like a scene from that movie Deliverance. I think there's a lot of trailer park people up there. and You know, a lot of great vineyards, though. It's one of the great undiscovered vineyard areas in, Napa, in uh, Northern California. And you can find vineyards that have grapes similar in quality to what you're finding in Napa and Sonoma at a much lower price. And that's one of the things that Jed has always done is make wine for the people. Even his top wine, the Stymie named after a racehorse that his grandfather uh, bet on and won enough money to move the family out to California. It's only $45 a bottle. His top wine, Merlot and Syrah, uh, both under $50 a bottle. Like I said, here's a guy that's had more experience making fine wine in California than probably any other vintner. And uh, like I said, beautiful to see that he's focused, continue to focus on making wines that are everyday wines that all of us wine drinking people can enjoy. Well, check it out. Like I said, we got Jed coming a week from tonight, our annual event, the 7th of November at Cafe Max. Check out the menu. Ollie always pulls out all the stops for this one, and uh, we close the restaurant. It's pretty much a party. We got a band. A good time is had by everybody. All right, folks, check it out, our Jed Steel menu. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.